In previous tutorials, I demonstrated how to construct frequency distributions in Excel using the COUNTIF and COUNTIFS function. We saw that the COUNTIFS function uh, is a less tedious approach to take when we have multiple criteria that are used for judging whether or not values belong in particular bins. But even so, we had to modify that formula for every single bin. What we'll do this time is demonstrate the use of the frequency command in Excel, the frequency function that it has built in, and we'll enter it as an array formula. An array formula means then that a formula is applied to a range of cells at one time. So what I've done already is begun to construct then my frequency distribution for the variable age for these 17 students. You see I've already identified the minimum and maximum values and identified also then what are reasonable bins to have uh, for reporting this information. Before I can go about constructing the frequency distribution, however, I need to create a column of information that contains the upper bin limits for each one of my bins. So, and I can put this anywhere on my spreadsheet, but I'm going to put it right to the left then of my where my bin labels are listed. So for that first bin, the upper limit is an age of 24. An age of 29 is the upper limit for the second bin. We then see that 34 is the upper limit for the third, 39 for the fourth, and 44 is the upper bin limit. Well, I'm going to also here just label this so in case I come back in a later time, I can remember then what this information was added for, what the purpose of it was. Now I'm going to click and move then the cursor to the cell that will contain the output for the first bin, that is the frequency for the range 20 through 24. Begin to type in my formula, equal, and the function is the frequency function, left parentheses, parenthesis. I will now highlight my range of data comma, and now what I'm going to highlight is the bin range, the range of upper bin limit values, and close parenthesis. Now, resist the temptation to hit enter right away. What I'm going to do now is move the cursor down to the last cell of my output, and that's going to be what the cell to the right of the bin label 40 to 44, and I'm going to do nothing more than shift and click to highlight that range of data. Now it looks like it's done nothing, but we see that for the first cell it has computed the number of students that have ages below 24. Now to apply this formula to all the cells at one time, I now need to hit the F2 button. So the F2 button at the top of your screen and that takes this formula and puts it into an edit mode, uh, if, in case you're wondering why we do that. And now to actually enter that formula into all of the cells in the range that have been highlighted, I'm going to hold down the shift key, the control key, and then I'll press enter. So control, shift, enter at one time. And you see now then the data is reported in terms of our frequency distribution. Let me add a total value here, to sum for the column, that should be a total of 17. Like I always like to do, I'll add a border above that, so highlight that cell, format cells after I click my right mouse button to come up with the options, click on border, I'll use a thicker line than what is the default, and I'll put that at the top of the cell. And that just separates my total then from the frequencies of each individual bin limit. Now, what we've done here is just created a frequency distribution where we see then that we can click on one of these cells and you notice now the formula up at the very top in the formula bar is now contained within brackets. I didn't type that in, that was added in uh, by Excel when I entered it as an array formula and that indicates then that what we have here is an array formula. Now if I go to one of those cells and try to delete it, it will not let me delete that cell itself because it's part of an array. What I would have to do if I want to delete that array formula is I'd have to highlight all of the cells and then 
hit the delete button or the backspace button to erase it. So let me go ahead and just center that. And there's my frequency distribution. If I would be reporting this in a paper, obviously I wouldn't add in the upper bin limit information. Instead, I would just add that information as my frequency distribution. So a, a much more sophisticated uh, and simpler approach once you get used to the process of using array formulas. Now I'd like to demonstrate just one more time with a second example the use of the frequency command and an array formula for constructing a frequency distribution in Excel. I've got uh, exam one data that I'm going to use here for my second example. You notice I've already typed in my bin uh, labels. Let's go into the cells to the right of my bin labels. I'll type in the upper bin limit for each of those bin that we have. And now what I'll also do is I'll just put a label above. So I remember then what this information is. Now let's move the cursor to the very first cell where I will have my formula that will be entered for constructing the frequency distribution. Equal to begin then the construction by formula. Frequency. Open parenthesis highlight the data range, comma, and now highlight the bin array, the upper bin limit, and close parenthesis. Again, resist the temptation to hit enter. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move the cursor to the very last cell in the range, shift, and click my mouse button and what this will do is highlight that entire range of cells. At this point now, I'm going to hit the F2 button at the top of my keyboard, and that puts the uh, formula into an edit mode. And the last thing that we'll do to enter the formula now into all cells, hold down the control and shift keys, and then press the enter key. And right there we have our frequency distribution. I'm going to add in then the total number of cases the students took the exam, which is 17. And again, highlight the, ma the cell, right mouse button. I'm just going to add a border. I just like to always do that when I construct a frequency distribution to set the total value off from the individual frequencies for each bin. And to demonstrate that this is an array formula, I can click on any of the cells where I entered the frequency formula and you notice then that that formula is contained within brackets indicating it is a array form an array formula. I can't delete one cell of the array formula if I want to delete the array formula I need to highlight and delete all cells at one time. But this is how we go about using the frequency command as an array formula for constructing frequency distributions in Excel. A really sophisticated and, and very easy approach to use once you get used to the process of using array formulas.